God bless everybody. I'm like a stealth bomber in the Republican Party, all right? I'm running for State Assembly for District 27 in Queens. As you know, that section is where uh, uh, John Liu is at, and Gracie May, Congressman, and Sebesky, but Sebesky ran away, and John Liu took her her place. And I'm also an electrician, and I'm in Local 3, and John Liu sits on the public membership board. So you would say at this point, I'm going all in, and at the same time, committing career suicide, right? But I believe in New York. New York is my home. I'm from the Dominican Republic. I emigrated uh, from there in, in the 70s. My mother came, and her first job was at work in the factory. But one of the things that she taught me was that I had to work hard, right? I had to work hard and earn my way up instead of going into the welfare system. My mother made sure that she stood out of welfare, even if she took what she needed out of it, but she made sure that I would just have the drive to hustle in New York because New York is all about hustling. It's all about the hustle. It's all about making it here, here because New York is like the first port city for the whole world to come over here. And the way the Democrats and the socialists and the communists are doing, they're trying to destroy, they're trying to close that door. Because if New York City, New York State falls, the whole nation falls, to be honest. Because there's no other state that's out there that we so accepting to other immigrants, no matter what, where they come from, whatever background. This is the first place they need to go, right? To start. And then they, from here, they go on to any other place and live the American dream. What these people want to do is change the American dream into a nightmare. And we're seeing that nightmare every single, every single day for the past six years. And it got worse during these past three and a half years. I got into politics because I was at home and they were saying who was essential and who was not essential. They called me up and they said, Angelo, you can go to work. Well, everybody I knew, they couldn't go to church, they couldn't go, they couldn't open their small businesses. The reason why they said I was essential is because I'm an electrician and, and, and I work in construction, so you can go in there. And I said to myself, who is government to tell me whether I am privileged or not, or give me my privileges? Like, as if though, they, they can give us the permission to be somewhere. What I started to realize is that this country, this, you know, this New York, is transformed into a dictatorship. Right? Without knowing, you start saying, you can't go over here, you have to wear the mask. If you don't have these shots, you can't work. I said, you know what? I'm not going to take these shots because yeah. it's my right yeah. as an individual. And my family and people were turned away from me. One day I did get COVID and I went to the hospital for six days. I was in the, you know, it was it. I, they found me on the ground in my room. Thank God. I went through it's five or six days and I recovered in three days, right? I, I still had to have an oxygen tank. And after all that, they came out and they said, well, Angelo, you see, COVID exists. Are you going to take the shot now? I said, no. Because what can't kill me makes me, makes me stronger. And you're immune. And I'm now immune to it because I understand how the science works. The real science works. And we know that what they do is they peddle something, they lie to us, they swindle us. But one thing that I learned as I was going home, I said, you know what, I need to get into, I need somebody to know this, someone going to say something about it. And I looked at the legislation, they didn't say nothing. I looked at my representatives, they said nothing. The city council said nothing. All I saw was one person ordering everybody to talk, which is the governor. My family came from a dictatorship in the Dominican Republic, from one dictator, what was going on is that we were seeing this dictator. And when my father was in the Dominican Republic, he had to walk around with, in the, under the dictatorship, he had to run, walk around with three page papers. And if he had any of those papers missing, they would throw him in jail. And guess what? One day he didn't have all three pages. And he ran into the, into the forest and stayed hiding in a tree, frightened to death. You know, and it was 
That was how it was. He stayed there for the whole night until they gave up looking for him. And it was in 1965 that the United States of America sent the Marines and the military down to the Dominican Republic, way after the dictator was 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 was, uh, was uh, assassinated. Um, there was a power struggle between communism and 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 and, and capitalism. The communists were starting to gain power, and the United States went in there and stopped it. Today, what is going on? It's the opposite. No one is stopping the socialism and the communism that's happening here in the United States. Where's the military? Where's, where's people who started to accept it as a norm? But to me, it's not a norm. Because I'm out of the system. I think out of the box. And that's why I want to be a voice to my constituents. Because a lot of people are afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. In New York is all about being tough. For some reason, these people have educated these young kids and they don't understand what it is to hustle, what it is to work hard, what it is to grind. Most of them have accepted what the government's given them, free stuff. And what it did was make weaken their minds and make them acceptable. But I'm here to say that I know that New York is my home and this place needs to, needs to, it needs to be cleaned from the bottom up, like he said. It has to start from the bottom up from the local government, from our local areas, county committee men, uh, going out there, knocking on doors. If I have to do it by myself, I'll do it by myself. Like the lady was saying, it's hard to raise money. I'm a, I'm a Latino black Republican, right? And have, how many Republicans has reached out to? And you know what I said? I'm the one that's, that's guiding me is God. And the one that's blessing me is God. I got a big donation of over eight hundred dollars in one day this week, and I said, you know what? That that just helps me along. That helps me along because I believe in in New York. I believe in the United States. I'm an American citizen, and I will fight for this nation if I have to. And we and and just to end it all, we have to we have a medical freedom. Alliance. We have we have armies and groups of people that have gathered and walked over the bridge last year. We need to get in contact with those people, those who are part of that. They need to 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 to, to, or to they need to mobilize and come in parties just to help us out. And God bless. You. Thank you, Angel. Angel.